in Luke chapter 6, verse 17, it says, And he came down with them and stood in the plain in the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. All of them, right? And the whole, now get this, and the whole multitude sought to touch him. They're trying to touch him, right? For there went virtue, dunamis, the same word used in Acts 1.8 that says you will receive when you receive the Holy Spirit. Same word. That's what went out of him. What he had, you have if you've received the Holy Spirit. Do you get that? Now you have to believe that or you'll never use it. But it said, for there went virtue, dunamis, power out of him and healed them all. So now this dunamis has the ability to heal every person that touched him. <laughs> Do you get that? So every person that touches you, that same power is in you, and they should get healed by touching you. I don't care who you are. Hey, well, I'm not a preacher. So what? It doesn't say to as many uh, you know, preachers as received, you shall receive the, the baptism of the Spirit. It doesn't say that. It's a, it doesn't say that preachers receive the power. A lot of preachers don't have power, right? Or at least don't walk in it. But we have to realize that this is not just for preachers. This is for believers, that if you're a believer and you receive the Holy Spirit, then you have dunamis, the power in you that was in Jesus that caused this person to get healed. Amen? Yeah, I, I, I'm constantly emphasizing this because I want you to get it. Now, notice it says he healed them all. Luke chapter 8, verse 43. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any. Well, that's, you could write that today. Right? You could write that today. Now, I will admit, medical science is much better today than it was years and years and years ago. But uh, it's still not a cure-all. Still a lot of things it can't do. And probably the big, one of the biggest changes is just the prices that got higher. Right? Personally, I think if a doctor, if you're going to go to a doctor, um, you ought to pay them after you get healed. Amen. Right? I mean, come on. You, know, you don't want to pay them before. Right? So, Okay. It's like those guys that work on your house, you know, they come and they say, we'll fix your house, fix your roof, but we want all the money up front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it never gets finished. Yeah. Right? Well, you pay them afterwards. Why? Because as long as you pay them afterwards, they're working hard to get you there. Amen. Well, it should be the same thing with doctors. Amen? Amen. All right. So, anyway. <clears throat> Notice in verse 20, verse 44. And she came behind him and touched the border of his garment. Notice... All these crowd were trying to touch him. Now she touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stopped. And Jesus said, again, who touched me? Touched. Remember that. Just a touch. Not some long drawn out thing. Right? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee and sayest thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me. For I perceive that virtue. Dunamis. There it is again is gone out of me. And when, now notice, he perceived, he felt it flow, right? But he didn't know who got it. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. <clears throat> now, one last, well, two last things. One is Acts 1.8. I've been quoting this scripture already. But you shall receive dunamis. You shall receive power. You shall receive miraculous ability. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And when that happens, you're going to be witnesses to him, both in Jerusalem, Judea, and in Samaria, and into the uttermost parts of the earth. It's very simple. Isn't that right? So whatever he had, you have. Whatever he needed, whatever he had, Whatever he had to have to get his job done, you have to have to get your job done. Right. He can't expect us to do the same thing he did without giving us the same equipment that he had. Right. Amen? Right. 